guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines we already got a pop-up <laughs> all right so basically what i wanted to work on today was getting some more transit set up uh, for this particular area we might want to start working on this particular landscape uh, there could be a little bit work done over here i guess uh, for the uh, part on the side here we we need to do similar uh, style for the cliffs like we've been working on and we'll probably do that all the way down the coastline here there's also some sort of um, material here I don't think this might be oil or gas or something might be oil let's check the resource so it's oil for sure so we got oil in this particular area uh, we could set up some industry buildings for that I guess if we wanted to uh, I don't know how our other oil industries doing <clears throat> check that out oh yeah we're doing really good on this one it's not too much um actually getting depleted oddly enough I almost wonder if I accidentally enabled something that prevents it from going down or what's going on here because I I don't really notice too much of a difference let's check our ore, ore industry that's been around for a longer period um, okay over here it looks a little bit more whiter it might be going down I guess it's really hard to tell what's going on with these things, but it does look like it's a little bit um, lighter in this area. So it could be going down. It's really hard to tell though, so I don't know. But uh, easiest way would probably be just zoning some regular industry area and seeing how much that goes down, I guess. But um, over here, what we could we do? We could put some regular oil industries in here I guess that would be good but um, what do we have over on this side this is oil right oh steel works it might be ore industry let me just check the zoning for that um, ore yeah it's ore industry so we could set up an oil industry on that side i guess nothing's stopping us really from doing that and this can remain an ore industry area though it
basically what I've been doing is I'm creating a simple block system. I've watched a couple videos on Biffa's channel a long time ago that he was experimenting with um, three-way junctions. And I don't remember if it actually worked better. So I was, I was just going to try it with this particular district and see if it actually is a little bit better or not. And basically what I've been doing is I've been um, going about um, one or two segments like this with just a uh, regular single road and basically creating junctions so it's a little bit um, larger. Now these intersections over here should remain um, a little bit larger in that general area. So if we wanted to create another intersection going off this way then we would probably have to remove that particular piece. Now I haven't actually planned that out just yet but we can do that right now so because we're going to need a direction onto the other side i think we'll probably do that with that particular system so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to branch that off onto the side there for the time being i probably should have gone one extra there we go all right and then what we can do is we can just expand this out a little bit more where it would have been and see if we can't um, get some more houses in this particular area. Now, there's going to be industry over here, so we'll probably fill this in with commercial of some sort. So, I've just basically been putting paths down so the buildings are for sure going to be square. Like, full size, right? So, I want eight on this one, so that's five, six... Seven, and we'll probably go with an eight one right here and then that way we can oh actually hold on a second if we do that we probably need one more I'm not sure so we'll see if we can't bring this out a little bit more and then we'll see if we can't uh, fill in a few more areas in this general area and um, I might end up um, adding a two-lane highway Going this way so we can put a noise barrier in and probably the same for this little roundabout system that goes up to here i think that might be built a little bit better so we'll do that in just a little bit just want to get this part all set up so one two i'm not sure if we're gonna have enough room for all this Uh, let's see here for
so we got a little bit of our town uh, all developed. I put some trees and stuff around just to kind of give it some more decoration. And I put some uh, sidewalk restaurants in. And I think there's a sidewalk cafe up here. And I also put a tax office in over here, which is a landmark. So I made it its own block just to kind of decorate it a little bit more. It fit nicely in with the, the landscape and the, the the skyline and stuff like that there. So I put that there and then we got the volleyball court park. Um, there's a large playground that I put back here. So over by the highway there. And I'm just kind of splotting out uh, certain areas and I'm starting to move in a pedestrian railroad station so I'm thinking we'll probably put that around here uh, possibly and we'll have to kind of plan out where we're going to be putting it because I need to make sure that it's not too noisy for the people living in this area as well so there's always that to take in consideration but uh, all this is going to be industry so we might be able to plop it down somewhere over here maybe and that will allow us allow them to get from the station to over here as well or pretty much anywhere along that line so that's the general idea at least but we have quite a bit of uh, area that we still need to zone in I'm just slowly working on adding little roads and stuff like that for the decoration trying to keep the lights the same way it's hard to tell with the trees in the way, but I think it's on the... Yeah, that's the right side. And I think I've gone up like that. You can kind of just barely make out the lights on the, the pathway, but it, it's easier with these ones because there's no trees and buildings around them. But So that will be some industry area. And over here we'll probably put a little bit more industry. I'm not putting any trees down for these ones because um, they'll just turn pretty dirty, like die eventually. So, well, not really die, but you know, they won't look good. So, I didn't don't want to add too much. We'll probably put a couple industry buildings in that particular area too. I need to get over far enough where there is space to put a intersection in. That's why I'm doing that. Okay, so we'll probably do one more regular road or pathway. And that should
So we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got this whole area set up. Well, for the most part, there's still some um, zoning that we need to do in this area. I'm not sure what to put in just yet. We don't really have a high industry demand at the moment, but um, we'll see if we can't fill that out eventually and build it up. But uh, we got a whole bunch of residential area built in. Um, I, I lowered the tax uh, by 2% for everything, and then I basically applied the, um, what do you call it, tax, uh, raised the tax by 2% through the zoned policies. So if you go to the taxation, you can see I've enabled all of that for the default stuff. So we can basically go ahead and still get that 12%, but if we want to lower or increase it, then we have a little bit more free freedom to um, work on the development for the taxes in certain districts. Uh, though it's only like 2%, it's still, uh, it will still be enough to boost um, uh, the area for a little bit more, but by default I have it about 12%, uh, which everyone's basically um, paying out right now. So. Um, outside of that, I got a small railway system set up for cargo and uh, passenger over here. Um, tried to make the road a little bit smooth as possible, though this area, they do slide da uh, slow down a little bit, but it's kind of good because there's an intersection over here that they have to pass through, but, um, what else have I done? I changed the trees on most of the roads, I increased the bus loop to these two areas so these areas are covered now for bus uh, transit which goes to our university over here uh, which has the metro line so they can get even further from that point and then the rail goes even further than that but um, outside of that there's no real other transit going through here there's just that bus line and the rail station at the moment but we might put metro in depending on uh, where our metro lines are all located. I think there's a metro line over there. So we could bring it down here eventually and hook that up. Um, we'll see if we can't do that next episode. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.